Hi my friends, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be discussing green flags in a prison relationship. I know this flag is not green, but I guess it's kind of like go, proceed, go ahead. So, let me live my life, okay? The last video I posted, I'll link up there, it's about red flags in a prison relationship, but I didn't want to stop just there because I feel like, first of all, that is so unfair to just say all of the negative and not touch on the positive. And second of all, this video was actually requested. Somebody said, we always talk about the red flags. Can you tell me some green flags? What are good things, good qualities that somebody would portray that would make me, allow me to feel comfortable moving forward in a prison relationship, especially somebody who met somebody while they were on the inside, or actually this is for everybody. The first go green flag, not green, but green flag in a prison relationship is if the person on the inside, the inmate encourages you to live your life, to not stop living while they are gone, to go out, to have fun, to better yourself, to set goals, to attain goals, to be you, to move forward, to pursue your own happiness and not put yourself in prison with them. If they encourage you to do all of those things, you've got yourself a good one so far. The next green, not green, but green flag in a prison relationship is somebody that encourages you to be the best version of you. They want only the best for you. And I could tell you that in my relationship, sometimes that comes out in a way where I'm like, back off, buddy. But when he explains himself, I know 100% of the time Adam is pushing me because he sees my potential that I don't. So if you have somebody that is constantly trying to see the best in you, tells you your best qualities, reinforces that, and then says, I know you could do this, go for it, you got it, I love you, I am behind you, I am your biggest support system, I am your number one fangirl, that is a keeper, that is a green flag, keep going. The next green flag in a prison relationship is not only does he talk about things that he wants to do in the future, both with you and for himself to better himself, he actually takes steps and makes moves towards that future that he envisions for himself, for you, for your family, for both of you. So it doesn't have anything to do with hitting the street again. It doesn't have anything to do with going back to the old life or to old associates or anything like that. He starts making plans in there. He has goals for himself. He has goals for you as a couple. You work towards your individual goals, but you also have couple goals and you work towards them together right now. So when he gets out, out, you are both secure in your future and you know that you're not going to have to come back here because this sucks. So not only does he talk about it, he does it. He has actions that follow his words. Then that's not just jail talk. My friend, those are proceed. Go ahead. I'm behind you. Those are qualities you want in your man. That is the strangest sound I've ever heard. And I hope that is a machine outside and somebody's doing their grass and it's not a bug. Do you guys hear that buzz? Holy crap. So the next green flag is kind of just one step further, the same thing as the last one, but all of his words have actions behind them. He lives in integrity. He follows his word. He does what he says he will do. Now, now, let me just say something. There have been plenty of times in my own life where my husband says he's going to do something and he literally can't. If he says he's going to call and they call a recall last minute and he can't get on the phone, he says he's gonna email and the whole unit seems to be at the computer kiosks at the exact same time and he can't get there and then they call a move for a meal and he has to go. He says he's gonna call and there's an unforeseen lockdown and I don't hear from him for days. Of course, there's caveats and there's things that he will say that he's gonna do and because of the restrictions and confines around where he lives right now, he just can't. But if 99% of the time, his actions follow his words and he's living authentically and in integrity and he does what he says, girl, you're good. You got yourself somebody, 
I could see you having a future with. The next green flag in a prison relationship is your loved one contributes as much as they possibly can to your relationship. I don't know what that looks like for you, only you do. But if he can contribute financially, there are ways to do it. There are legal ways to do it. I know a lot of people who have a loved one who does. Mine, unfortunately, at this point, we've tried. He can't, that's cool. But he contributes in a way where he's helping me out. He contacts people for me. He's always pushing my YouTube channel and Strong Prison Lives and Families, and he's, my number one support system. He contributes in a way where he has ideas and he sends them to me. He's always trying to help me better myself. In my opinion, that's him contributing. He's not taking away from my life. So in whatever way that looks like to you, if he's a contributing member of your family in whatever way he can be, and he's not just take, 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 taking all of the time, girl, you're good. The next green flag is kind of all lumped in together. But the next green flag is if he makes sure that you are okay and you're taken care of before he asks you for something, he makes sure your bills are paid, that your kids are fed, that your needs are met before he asks you for money, even if that means him going without, even if that means he has to lessen the amount of times that he calls home, even if that means whatever that looks like and means for you and your relationship, he 100% makes sure that your needs are met. And when you can't do the extras, you can't send the money, you just don't have it, he doesn't get annoyed. He's very understanding, girl, you're okay, you're good. The next green flag, go ahead, move forward, pass, go, in a prison relationship is he knows when to push and he knows when to let up. In trying to help you get better, sometimes they push too hard. They are around men 100% of the time. Men are very go, 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 driven, just very firm with each other, very harsh. They don't think that they need to soften. So sometimes with us, they'll get like that and if you have an emotional reaction and they take steps back and they say, oh, it's not time to push. She needs a softer me right now. She needs some love. That is a-okay. The next green flag in a prison relationship is he speaks to you with respect. He doesn't curse at you. He doesn't scream at you. He doesn't call you names. Adam's least favorite thing in this whole entire world, and he will have words with people when they call their loved one a bitch. My bitch did this. What? He's like, have some respect for your girl. Why would you speak to her like that? Now, in some relationships, that's cool, and you have that banter, and that's just how you joke, and that's how you jive and have always communicated with each other. That's cool, but I don't like being called names. If he called me idiot or stupid or bitch or this or that, I would get very offended, and he knows that he speaks to me with a ton of respect. He does not raise his voice to me. And so I pass that along to you. If he speaks to you respectfully, if he calls you loving names, he doesn't swear at you. He uses words of endearment. He doesn't raise his voice to you. He is encouraging. He is supportive in the words that he chooses. There is so much meaning behind the words that people choose. Listen to his words. And if they're respectful and they're encouraging, girl, you got yourself a keeper. The next green flag in a prison relationship. This one is funny. It's kind of in there as a joke, but it's kind of not. So back last October, when I was in Dallas at the Prisoner Family Conference, I met a man named Cedric. I will link the video I did with him above. He did 20 plus years, maybe 22, 23 years in federal prison for, I believe it was crack cocaine, and he got out when they changed the law, the crack cocaine disparity, because he had a life sentence and this shrunk it down and he was out time served. And in that interview, he said something so amazing that I thought was hysterical. And I can't use the exact words that he used, but I know you guys can follow. His advice to guys on the inside, when they have somebody on the outside waiting for them was, profound guys, listen up. Listen up, my friends. It was, don't please the kitty. He used a different word that starts with a P that means the same thing. 
don't police the kitty. So if your loved one is not policing the kitty, meaning controlling you, meaning telling you what to do, telling you what to wear, telling you where to go, telling you who you can and can't go out with, etc. If they're allowing you to be the best version of you and live your life and not expecting you to put your life aside and live in a jail cell within your house because they're in one because they did something wrong, that's another one. That's an extra one, you guys. That's a green flag when they're not making you a victim, they're not always the victim, they're taking responsibility for their actions and they're not putting them on you. Those are green flags. I just lumped a whole bunch into one, but I don't wanna make this video too long. I would love to know what you guys think are green flags. What I forgot, will you consider a go ahead if you had a girlfriend who was just getting involved with somebody on the inside or you're involved with somebody on the inside and you're like, check, 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 green flag, green flag, green flag. I wanna know from you in the comments below what those are, what I forgot, or what your thoughts are on these green flags. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.